Let's talk about the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale is a scale involving every single note on the instrument. So we're going to learn some new notes so that we can fill in our C major scale with all the other notes in between. Let's start with just hearing what the chromatic scale sounds like. So in order to play the chromatic scale, let's take a look at the notes that we have to finger. We start on the low C. In order to get the next note, which is C sharp, we add this little key here with our left pinky. From there, we go to our note D. We just lift our ring finger and our pinky up, and there we are. The next note, E flat or D sharp, we have two ways to finger this, either the first side key with the right index finger, or we use the little sliver key on the left hand. So let's take a look first at those four notes. C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Let's do that one more time. Now let's try that with the opposite fingering for the E flat. So you can finger the E flat two different ways and it sounds the same. The next note is the first note we learned, the E. And from there, we go to the F, which of course is just the thumb. Then, to get the F sharp, we have to take the thumb off and put our first finger where it usually is for the E. So the F sharp is like the E, you just take off the thumb. So let's take a look at those three notes. Now it takes a little bit of coordination going from the F to the F sharp, but just practice lining that up. The thumb comes off at the same time the first finger comes down. Those three notes again, E, F, F sharp. Now let's put together the first four notes with the next three. So we're starting from the low C, C sharp, D, one of your fingerings for E flat, then E natural, F, and F sharp. Sounds like this. Now we get to open G is the next note. Real simple, no 
keys are pushed down. To get to the next note, it's G sharp, which is this little teardrop key over here. The one right next to the A key. And we hit that key with the side of our finger like that. From the G sharp, to get to the A, we just need to hit the A key. And the A key automatically raises the G sharp key. So once you hit the A key, you don't have to worry about keeping the G sharp key down as well, because the A key will do that automatically. So let's do those three notes. Those three are maybe a little bit easier, but the next few notes, the last three notes in the chromatic, are a little bit more difficult. From the A to go to a B flat, you leave the A key down and push the register key. Just those two keys. So if we start from our open G again and go up chromatically, there we get to B flat. From there, we need to go back to our B, which as you remember, is all of our keys down, including two pinkies, plus the register key. And we finish with our C by lifting up with our left pinky. Now let's split the chromatic scale into two parts, the low half and the high half. That's C to F sharp, and now we'll go G up to C. Now it might be a little bit hard to get used to at first, but keep practicing it, and eventually it'll start to feel easier and easier. Let's try the whole scale all together, from low C up to the higher C. Let's do it once going down. So you just have to retrace your steps, so to speak. Now, once you feel more comfortable with that, now we're going to go up and back down in one go. And we'll do it a little bit quicker. So it might take some practice to get to this point, but keep working. So 
starting from the top and going down and coming back up is also good practice. Now the chromatic scale might be a bit tricky to figure out at first. It's one of the harder scales to learn because it uses every single note. But if you keep practicing, you'll get it. The chromatic scale can sound very cool when you learn to play it very quickly and over the full range of the instrument. And I'll just give a little sample of what it sounds like to play the chromatic scale from the lowest note up to one of the highest notes and back down every single note on the clarinet. <laughs> So that's the chromatic scale.